Patsy got out today. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. It's all scrap. I just gotta get the plastic for it. Less than 100 years ago, this was this this was our cars. Hey guys, Thursday about noon time. Yesterday I started working on a new project. I got a greenhouse. I started building to start our seedlings, other seedlings. Once it gets warmer out, get a good jump start before we transplant. So I started that yesterday around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Got a good start on it. I'm going to take you out and show you what I've done so far. Um, it's 8 feet wide, 10 feet long, using just some leftover lumber I had from the barn. But it's real windy out, so I'm not going to be able to talk, but I'll get some footage of it. And I'm hoping I can get it finished today. It's too windy to put plastic on, so we'll wait till this weekend because tomorrow we got a rainstorm coming and high winds. So I'll get the frame done and you'll be able to see the frame and how I did it before I get the plastic on so it'll work out pretty good. So we'll go outside and I'll show you where I'm at on it. Right now I'm putting on this strapping for the plastic to lay on and it's 10 feet it's 10 feet wide the plastic I got is 10 feet wide so we'll run the plastic right up and over one continuous piece and then secure it along the bottom edge but I gotta finish getting I gotta put one more piece of strapping on the uh, on this wall right here in the middle and then go to the other side do the same but Get this side done and then it's ready for plastic. We gotta saw out some more 2x4s. I just ran out, so I had some hemlock up here that I didn't want to use. So I just put uh, some spruce and rolled it over these. They're just little ones, but make good 2x4s. These are just left over from last summer on the barn. So we'll get these sawed out and finish up the greenhouse.
I'm sitting in my truck just so I can talk for a second because the wind is unbelievable out here. Um, I got to a certain point on it. And it's getting late in the afternoon. We got a big rainstorm coming tomorrow. And I just, I needed to go run some errands in town. So that's kind of where it's at. Let's see if I can get a better. It's all strapped. I just got to get the plastic for it. And I wanted to get it plastic before the rain comes, but it's not going to happen. It's too windy. Just going to get all torn apart. This weekend I'll pick back up where we left off on it and show you when it's complete. Like I said, it's 8 by 10, 5 foot walls with an 8 pitch roof, so there's plenty of headroom. Because you're not going to be, you're going to be walking pretty much in the center. There'll be shelves down both sides of it. So we can fit quite a few of those wooden trays that we made for our soil blocks. But anyways, we'll, I gotta head to town and run a couple of errands and we'll see what we can find when we get back. The snow is melting, finally. Holy cow. I didn't think it would ever start to melt. I'll be some glad when it's dried up and everything's turning green. So I just got back from Belfast and the wind is just unbelievable, so I won't be putting any plastic on the greenhouse. And I had a little bit more to finish. I had to finish this back wall right here this one everything else is done now it's ready for plastic so that'll be this weekend's project after the storm blows by but anyways so I want to give everybody a sneak peek whoop the glare at a future project that is certainly gonna keep all of us on our toes and will definitely be entertaining. So, I picked up this Amish buggy about two years ago now. I woke up one Sunday morning and it was on Craigslist in New Hampshire. Some woman had it, said she was moving and it wouldn't fit in the U-Haul. So, a steal of a deal on it, but it had to go that day. So I called her and she said, if you come down, I'll hold it. So I headed off to northern New Hampshire and picked this thing up. <laughs> it is awesome. I gotta redo it. Some of the paint's peeling off, but it's actually in super good shape. And I'm a, I got acquainted with some Amish over in Unity and they, they said it's actually, you know, a really decent one. It's an old model, but something I would like to upgrade if I do get a horse and run it quite a bit is these are wooden wheels wrapped in steel, and I can I can just get new new wheels with the rubber. It's a lot quieter. I was in Kentucky for a few weeks, living with the Amish um, about five years ago, and. The buggies we were driving around all had rubber on them. They were much quieter. But <clears throat> I thought I'd show you guys. Not everybody gets to see one of these up close. Um, it's got dual, well, dual bench seats. It's kind of dark in here right now. I might grab my light so you can see. I went in and grabbed a light to try to show you the inside of this a little better. Um, get in here real quick. The problem is my camera is zoomed all the way out. I gotta get some better filming equipment anyways now that we know that we want to do this full time because I need to get like a wider uh, viewed camera but yeah so anyways this is the front seat this is looking out the door the door is open right now and then actually we'll close the door real quick thing is so cool oh my goodness so 
This is looking in the back. The, those straps back here, this whole back uh, canopy will roll up and then you can you can uh, hold it up like on a hot day. But for people to get into the back, this this one comes down, this front seat, this back, and it's, it's hard so they can step on it and then they can climb into the back seat. It's not even the fact that it's an Amish buggy, it's just an old, I mean this thing's old. Old horse buggy. This is how it was done. I mean, less less than a hundred years ago. I think about that quite a bit. Less than a hundred years ago this was this this was our cars. And now we're driving around and driving around in forty or fifty thousand dollar vehicles. So yeah, I'd like to redo it's got uh, it's got some pretty crude wiring because <laughs> it's got blinkers and brake lights. I guess uh, from one of the guys I know in the Unity Amish community, they said that a lot of accidents were happening without the safety lights down south and other communities. So he said he'd he would, he'd recommend putting more lights on it. He said you really can't put enough and strobe lights and stuff because people just don't pay attention. Um, yeah. Close the window up. It's missing some fasteners. Like some stuff I'm gonna upgrade. It's got just a makeshift fastener. It's supposed to have a nice like window lock, but a dual, it's got two different doors. It's also got, it's got hydraulic brakes drum brakes on it. Um, pretty simple. Spring suspension. <laughs> this summer I'm gonna roll it out of this shed that it's in and put it in the barn and I gotta I gotta find somebody who does sand, wood sandblasting because I've tried I've tried sanding it and I don't know what they use for paint but it's like iron. So I'd like to get it blasted down and repaint it with a nice quality paint. But I just thought I'd show everybody what one of these is like. Look under it. Pretty simple. Everything the whole the whole chassis is wood and then it's just got this little metal frame that holds it. And there's the the brakes on it. Those things still work. I've tried it, um, but you can see the the paint is whoop, get the better lighting. It's just flaking off, but it's solid. I've kept it dry, so I think it'll be fine. Leaf spring suspension on it. I got the shafts that hook to the horse. I just got it off so I can, we can keep it in here. Um, let's see. I might do some new canvas. It's got very little canvas on it. Um, and I tell you what, whoever did this the first time around was super good because everything is still pretty well intact. And in real tight. This piece, these pieces are totally fine. I wouldn't want to dare touch them. Um, but we'll definitely have this out. Hopefully, it won't be this summer. Next summer would be my would be my ultimate goal. Now that I have the barn, I can actually keep a couple horses what route I'll go, but I think going to the auction and getting one down south is my best bet. Get it back here. Oh, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna climb in the back seat. <laughs> uh, wow. It's actually super comfortable. Super comfortable. And the, the seats slide. So we're in the back, we're in the back seat. 
get my light propped up here. And this front seat flips up like in a school bus. How cool is this? So you have the driver and the co-pilot. <laughs> And then the two brave souls that will sit back here. We got the little, look at this. It's like a little tanker machine gun hole out of a tank. Holy cow. I can't wait. I cannot wait to have horses hooked to this thing. How fun. So fun. I wish you could smell it in here. It just has an old, just vintage smell. One of the Amish guys I know, he said this is probably like a 1950s era, 1960s, to the best of their, you know, ability to, to, to see it. They don't change them much as a thing. So, when I was in Kentucky, I never had as much fun as we had down there when we got to drive horses. I mean, I didn't drive them, I was just riding, but it was unbelievably peaceful. Nothing can really describe it until you do it. And there's, it's, it's, it's such a slow, I mean, not really slow, I mean, the, these horses, you can cover some ground and it's just effortless to them to pull one of these because they got such big wheels on them that, can you see me back here? <laughs> I'm in the back seat of the buggy. Oh man. But yeah, the wheels, the wheels on them are so big that they just roll over the ground so easy and the horses don't even know. I mean, four people in here, one horse is going to cover some ground. I mean, we were in, uh, we were driving buckboard. We had at least six of grown adults in it, and it was a standard bread that was pulling us a gelding, and we were flying one night. I was nervous about how fast we were going, and and on purpose when we pulled into the driveway, the driver he never even lifted. He just cut cut the reins, and the whole buggy was just skating across the road, and we were laughing. And it, it was an all time, never forget my trip to Kentucky, uh, staying with, staying with the Amish friends of mine for a little while, quite an experience really. And I, I think it had a big influence on, on who I am now and the lifestyle I chose to live after that. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to close out. I've been rambling on about this buggy. I love it. You guys will love it too. We get a real good horse someday, we'll have to give some people some rides in it. Because, like I said, it's like a once in a lifetime thing to have one of these and to be able to, you know, potentially someday take it for a ride. So, we'll keep you posted and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. What are you doing, Mama? What are you doing out there? Huh? Patsy got out today. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She likes to test the fence. I unplugged the fence for two seconds to use the extension cord and bloop, she got out. But, little shake of the grain sack and just couldn't resist it. <laughs>